Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show off some Cadence AI stuff. This is uh, using AI and starter templates so that you can get a site to launch much faster and much more effective with the power of AI. The initial step you need to do is go into the starter templates in the back end. Right now I've got a um, blank website here that we're going to start with. Nothing really happening. So inside of starter templates, I'm going to be asked to activate Cadence AI. This is going to take me over to the Cadence website where I can connect my site. If you don't have an account, you'll be asked to make an account. Otherwise, you can log in and then connect your site. Once it's connected, you are then able to use AI, and that allows you to go ahead and jump into the wizard and start and filling things out. So um, today I'm going to just fill this out as if I am Toucan Black just a fake company um, that is just a coffee roasting slash coffee shop. And we'll just say it's in Missoula because that's right. Now, there's a lot of options you can choose in here. <clears throat> if you want to do a custom industry, that's also totally fine. So if I wanted to do coffee roasting that's not something that shows up you can just click the add button and that's spelled wrong but yeah we're going to stick with coffee shop here <clears throat> you can be asked to tell about your business we've got some tips if you're wondering what should go in here but in general this is like a little bit of an about a little bit of a mission statement a little bit of like you know the kind of content that you would think uh, ai needs we've got some examples on the right and I'm just going to drop in this little pre-written thing. One thing you can do is improve it with AI. So once you've kind of got some content in there, if you're like, oh, I wonder what AI would do with this, you can just click that button. It'll go through and give you some rewritten suggestions. <clears throat> you can use that and move along. <clears throat> Here you're going to enter some keywords. Now you can manually enter um, keywords. So coffee shop, uh, but you can also click on the keywords you want to use. So um, highest quality, delicious cup of coffee. And then you can choose a tone. I'm going to go with friendly for this. Okay. Now what happens is we hit uh, pexels with a search query on some, looking for some images to use in your website. You can edit that search query here. So in this case, I've got a lot of different uh, things that are going along with my um, my fake company here. I can simplify that and just start coffee shop. Sometimes that gives you a little bit more results, sometimes not. So it's something you can easily play with here. Uh, and I might just do coffee shop um, people. And that's giving me some looks that I want. You can also uh, use any of our pre-built image libraries. And then if you want to, you can take this even further and edit these. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this collection here. And if I want to add to it, I can go to pixels and look for specific. Something like this. Just click the download and you can add that right into the collection. So you can see that image here, and then I can move that image around as well. Um, if you got an image in this that you're like, I like the rest of these, don't like that one, just update that collection, and then we generate content. This is where all the content's going to get generated. This usually takes about 60 seconds, so we'll fast forward. Okay, once it's done, we'll get shown these layouts. <clears throat> this is uh, six layouts that we're launching with. We're gonna have a lot more as time goes on. Um, and all of these have multiple pages inside of them and are pretty cool home pages. You can hover your mouse over this little arrow at the bottom right of each one to kind of see and, and look at the layout. You can also click in and scroll through if you wanna get a better view and change the colors. So in this case, we've got some pre set up colors here if you're like, hmm, I don't really know what I want, 
Or if you're like, no, I know exactly what I want. It's this specific blue color. And you can do that. Now, with this, you can change the saturation of that color palette a little bit. So you can see that these colors shift as you bounce through, especially the, um, the background colors. And you can also switch it into a dark mode. So if you were like, hey, I want to see this in dark mode, you can. Now, this is going to warn you, hey, that color is kind of dark. For dark, you want something to stand out. So it's going to tell you to get a little lighter. And then you can still continue to adjust how you want that palette to look. But this palette builder is a lot of fun to play with and see. Now, you can also, and we'll move this back to a darker blue, view <clears throat> that color on all of the sites. So if I want to come in here and choose red, for example, and I can come out and see that, I can also edit the colors here. So I can live preview how these affect and live preview if I want it dark, light, and then I can change the fonts so I can see how that's going to happen. And all of this can be done inside as well. So if you want to look at different fonts, you can do that here and see how it's going to turn out. Okay, so once you got the color that you want, I'm going to go to maybe this orange. Sure, orange. You go into content, and here you can see a different pages that come with it. Some of them are going to have more. So, for example, this one's got four. Um, and you can click through and see all the different pages as you preview throughout the starter templates. So if we're going to go with this layout here, this is looking pretty good. Go into content. I can choose if I want to like not import one of these pages or all of them. I also have the option to import um, example blog posts and example products. You don't have to import these. If you're like, I already know I'm going to make products from scratch, then great. You can do that. This is just there to help. Uh, and then you go into plugins. Because we're importing products, then this is going to be required. And you can also add a couple other plugins if you want. And then finish. This is going to run through the import process. Usually takes about a minute. And once that's done, we'll have a website. Okay, all finished. See the site. So here you go. We've got our website done with all of our images, products made, we have product pages all done, variable products added, and we can go to the shop page, contact page, blog page, frequently asked questions about all of this has been set up for us and is ready to go. So um, if I want to edit this page, I can come in and click edit. Now the design library is another place where AI content comes into play. So I've got these two tabs here. I can search for patterns by design, and then it's not going to have AI content in it. If I go with AI, that means that all this content has been content that was generated after we generated content. So I can look here and say, I want to have a new call, let's see, products and services. And I want to just look at heroes. So I can go through and say, this one is a good fit and drop that in. And I can bounce this around on my page. If I want to see this come all the way to the top, you can do that. And then if you're like, hey, that image isn't quite right, you can go in and pick one of the images you've already got from the design library previously. Um, or you can do a search in Pexel. So here we'll do coffee cup and Maybe you choose this one, or let's say this one looks good. Drop that in, and there you go. On my page, and I can take this section out, update, and view the site. 
So that's a way you can continue to use AI content and update your website. Another nice thing is just being able to add sections. So in design library, let's say we're looking for a call to action and I want to drop this one in. I can go right in here and say, hey, you know, I actually want this to be longer. So if I click on the Cadence AI, I can say, make it longer. And that's going to come back with a paragraph for me to use. It's a little bit long, so maybe I break that up some. Um, and probably, you know, play around with this. I can also ask the AI to write something for me. So if I'm here and I'm like, um, take that out and we'll say, So you get to write a paragraph about why organic is important. I can drop that in. I can also edit this. So in this case, if I want that to be shorter, I can just send that in and it'll give me a shorter sentence. Um, so you've got AI tools inline. This is using the advanced text block. Just click here. You can change tone, simplify, make it longer, or just directly ask something of AI. And then you've got the design library where you can edit or you can use all of these patterns that we've made. There's over 600 now and you can filter these. And the other thing too, just to note is if you want to update your AI details, you can, and then you can update this search term. So if you want uh, I need coffee shop, smiles I can update that and now all these images are going to update within the library too it's just worth showing this that each one has a dark and highlight mode so you can drop in a very vibrant section into your site. All right. Now, of course, if you're like, hey, I want to start all over and choose a different layout, you can definitely do that. Just jump right back into here, choose a different item that you like. Here again, you can choose your own colors. And as you go through, you're going to notice that there's this option to delete previously imported content. So you click that, run through, and that will delete all the past content and then get you going with new content. So again, this takes like 60 seconds. Once it's done, view the site and away you go. You can start editing from there. But you're launched into a site that takes you a lot further and is a lot closer to being ready. So I hope you like using AI in starter templates and in cadence, and definitely send us your feedback. Thanks a lot for watching.